Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Now recently I got invited down to the Motion Simulation HQ to check out, well, this, their brand new 2021 LC series. But if you're not familiar with Motion Simulation, then they made waves when they released their £50,000 TL3 series simulator. And we've been loving it. It's the one that you see in various Veloce videos over the last year. And we've decided this is the best in the business. So much so that we've decided to make Motion Sim our leading partner for supplying simulators. So when I heard that Motion Sim had another gaming rig in the works that was not only cheaper and was incorporating some of the same technology as the TL3, I was very interested to see what they had come up with. And on first impressions, I wasn't disappointed. Sporting a sleek build with a black and white finish, this variant of the LC Series Sim is a stylish and practical take on the typical home gaming simulator and a welcome addition to the Motion Sim lineup. Climbing into the simulator, the adjustable steering position erases any possibility of fighting your sim on entry. Simply pressing the red buttons to lift or lower the steering position enables easy access and a steering wheel height that suits your needs. Once settled in the sim, the ergonomic seat offers a lot of back support, which is fantastic to have during those long racing sessions. The materials on the seat are of a high quality, and overall, I was just impressed with how comfortable I was in the seat. And just to add to the ease of use, below the seat is a keyboard tray. Some would argue this is a small feature, but for me, I find it such a nuisance having to have the keyboard on the floor or on my lap. So to have a tray there pre-installed is a great addition. So how does it fare when it actually comes to racing? Well, I think that it is essential that a racing sim has a variable driving position cockpit. To have the freedom of your position depending on what you are racing ensures I'm in the best position to maximize performance when I race online and the LC series does just that. It offers a four in one variable driving position cockpit providing the freedom to switch between Formula One or to GT or sports or even if you're just driving saloon cars, you know, it's got all those driving positions. And and it is super easy to do this within seconds. Simply pull the lever and adjust the seats accordingly. The pedals are also adjustable, so you're able to quickly adjust these to exactly the right position. And that's literally it, it's that easy. I did, however, find the pedals on this rig though, when adjusting it can sometimes be a bit more difficult compared to some other simulators, as it can snag as I move it. But as this is a pre-production prototype, I understand this is being resolved in production. There will also be two pedal plates, standard like this one over here and Pro, which will be even more solid than what we have here. Overall, this is a small issue, when in retrospect you have all these great features to hand. It's also possible to fit the majority of popular pedal and wheel sets. So if you've got a Thrustmaster, Fanatec or Logitech, then all of that's gonna fit in here. Talking of upgrades, there are plans in place for modular upgrades to become available with this simulator, including full integrated motion in two and three axis options, pitch, roll, and heave movements. There is also space to alternate between a single screen, a single ultra wide, or a triple screen setup if this is something that you would be interested in to make the experience more immersive. Or you could even run VR, of course. The LC series is compatible with PC and games consoles, and so I believe this is a really strong product from Motion Sim. And as someone who spends his whole life in a simulator, it ticks most of, if not all of the boxes. It's sizable, has fantastic build quality, and in my opinion, is one of the most accurate racing simulators on the market. It doesn't have the flex that other simulators have. It's easy to adjust and doesn't take a lifetime to build. It is priced competitively with prices starting just under £1,000 on the Motion Sim website. Thank you for watching my review on the brand new 2021 LC series for Motion Simulation. What is your favorite feature from here? Let us know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you next time. Bye.